Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Monday. And today I want to go over dual mobile and two-factor authentication. I want to go over the console again. I went over this last year, um, like earlier last year, and I want to go over stuff that you need to know if you're trying to do, um, if you're a dual admin or if you do IT support help desk, technical support level one, level two, this stuff you need to know if you're, if you're helping a user or a client, especially uh, more now since people are using two-factor authentication for VPN, um, for um, Citrix or remote access or for uh, webmail or um, you know email like Outlook email so this is stuff they need to know um, obviously I've gone over this before and I'm gonna go over it real quick not that not, not, not too complicated and I'm just gonna show you what you should be worried about and what you should help users with and what you should be focusing on if that makes sense all right obviously you're new to my channel I do content videos I do IT support technical support IT IT videos in general um, I help people how to get into, I help people get into IT and stuff like that. So as always rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, you know, when I go live, I do hands-on training. Sometimes we go live and we have a bunch of people that, you know, a bunch of new people that try to learn technology. We try to help them out and stuff like that. So, you know, just hit the notification bell. That way, you know, we go live. We go live on Saturday. Usually we do training and stuff like that. So without further ado, let me share my screen with you. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. All right show you my screen so if you're an admin first thing you need to do you need to log in so you, know, you guys already know my email address so I'm obviously I'm not gonna you know worry about that so then when you log in you put in your password whatever they give you so everyone everyone has their own unique password if you're an admin on this you do have your own unique password um, and you have, you, have to, you have to make sure it's you obviously it's not some random guy trying to get in the system um, so I'm gonna do do a push I'm gonna approve it and I'm gonna be logged in. All right, I had to change some stuff on this because um, I just had to. So I'm gonna hit applications. So I wanted to show you a couple of cool things. So here, if you go to protected applications, you can enable two-factor authentication on BumGuard, on your Cisco VPN, on Citrix, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then obviously, if you wanna know how to do that, um, it's a lot of apps. Obviously, if you want to know how to how to do that, what you literally got to do is go into it, hit the documentation, and it shows you how to enable it. And you just follow the steps along. You know, just follow follow along on the steps, change the connection settings, and you're good to go. Maybe maybe later on, I'll make a video on this, and I'll show you how to enable dual on on Azure or dual on a VPN or something like that. For now, I just want to show you the dual console. So, things you need to care about on this: searching for user. Um, if their if their account is locked out or timed out, you see a lock right here. You hit you hit active and you hit save and changes. That's the only thing you should care about. Another thing you should care about. See, it says I enrolled before. Nothing you should care about. Enrollment. So you resend enrollment. I'm gonna resend it again because I because I did it earlier today. I wanted to test it. The user will get an email. So before you even do this, see so see I get this email. Before you even do this, make sure that you, you have them um, download dual mobile first. Once it's on download dual mobile, you can walk them through this. And then you have them log in, hit start setup, you hit mobile phone, and then you put your you put your phone number in there. Obviously, I'm not gonna give you my phone number because I don't want people calling me like crazy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here, but I don't want to, you know, I'm not gonna share my screen with you and hit continue. When you hit continue, you put your phone number, this is what kind of phone it is. I put um, Android, I have an Android phone, I'm not an iPhone user. And then you put, I already have dual mobile installed. So you click on that and you see a scan bar. And you have the option to send me send me an email activation link instead. And then you literally, literally all you gotta do is hit the plus sign on dual mobile, you'll, you'll get this you get this, this plus sign with a scan bar and you literally just scan it. Just put your put it, hover over it and you scan it. That's it. And then you hit continue and it tells you like, when I log in, I asked me to choose authentication, automatically send me a dual push. How do you, how you want it to set it up? And you hit finish enrollment and that's it. Now you're fully set up. Simple as that. So you have to walk a user how to do that because Otherwise, VPN won't work. Maybe they can't log into the remote desktop. Maybe they can't log into Citrix. Maybe they can do certain things. So they might need, you might need dual in order for them to authenticate because they're working from home. Obviously, if you're working from home, you, you're gonna have two-factor authentication enabled 
in your environment. So you need to know how to do this. So you need to know how to work a user, how to show them how to log in, how to download the mobile, and how to set it up, if that makes sense. So once you do all that, it should be all set. So don't worry about any of this other stuff. This is all, this, this is all we care about is that they're, they're actually in the system now. So then you, you know, you confirm again. And if you scroll all the way down, you should see the phone number down there. I'm not going to show you that, but my number is down there now. So um, another thing you care about is some of these companies have security groups. So you might have to add them to a security group on called Dual. And that security group works together with Active Directory and that Active Directory works together with this application. Remember I talked about like enabling applications? Maybe it, maybe they're, maybe they're, they're, the company already has it set up this way where it talks to the, you know, to talks to the, to the website, like keptech.local or whatever. And basically when you add them to a security group, they, they could just send them the enrollment. And in some cases you don't have that. In some cases you have where the user's a consultant well, the clients are consulting, you have to manually add them. So you'll click users, add a user, and then you put their name in there. So it'll be like, whatever, CapTech, whatever. Uh, we'll just do another one. We'll do tests. And then, you, you know, you, you ask for their username. You give them a username. You give them a full name. You put them an email. You give them an email address. So, like, I guess we'll put Kevin, and then we'll, we'll do my other email address. I have another email address, by the way, kbk.com. And then... You can add them to a group if you want. It's entirely up to you. And then you hit save changes. So now, now, if, it, now if it's done correctly, let me go back into this and type test. See, that there's no email there. So we're just going to put Kevin. Um, I'm going to hit save. I'm gonna hit send enrollment. And I'm actually gonna to go to my email address. So give me a second. I'm gonna log into my email address. Just to show that, just to show you that it actually worked. Does this user account called test? Should work. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see why it wouldn't work. It's right there, see? So that test account I created now is actually there. So it's just, you know, it's stuff that you need to know because you might have to manually add it for somebody as a consultant. Obviously we never delete anything. In this case, we're gonna delete, we're gonna delete it, but unless your manager gives you approval to delete it, then you would delete it. And then you, you just hit, um, you go to the trash bin, you highlight both of them and you hit permanently delete, permanently delete, and then it's gone, that's it. So this is all you care about is directory sync. And then the last thing you should care about is your, your administration and how to add an admin to, um, to this. So if you're, if you're, if you're a full admin on dual, you might want to learn how to, you might want to know or learn how to add somebody to this. So maybe you want to, maybe you, maybe you need to ask, maybe you want to add somebody new to this and you want them to have admin rights. So basically you go here and then, you know, you, you put their email address, like my email address, put their name, give them a password, and, and then have them log in here and then add them, and that's it. Simple as that. And then you, 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 could, do, um, you could do reports, um, and you could do administration actions, and it will tell you, literally tell you, like everything I done as an admin on, on, you know, on this computer and on this um, admin portal. So those are things you should care about. Um, and you, know, you, have your, you have your settings, and settings is basically like, how do you want this to be, how do you want the email to be sent out? So if you scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, um, as a, as a, as an IT company, as a person that works in IT, you could change the message if you want, you could change this message to whatever you want. Um, depending on how you are, depending on how you're set up, you could set it up and change the message and send, change the email that you're sending out to the company it will be down there basically and you could you know your organization your like you put the company name captech.com is willing i'll do mobile blah 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 and then you send out the guideline to, to the person after that so this is all the basic stuff you need to know obviously um one thing you need to care about as well is um if i could go into my other account thing you should care about is um Add a bypass code. 
And basically, if you go to do, you could do bypass code. If you scroll the way down, there's a bypass code, and you could change it. And you, you give somebody a bypass code, so if they're having a hard time logging in, you could give them a temporary bypass code. We we never, I gone over this in the last video. We never put bypass bypass right here. We never do that. If if you do that, you're gonna get in trouble. You might get fired. So don't do that. I'm um, just letting you know right now. Someone has done that in my other job, and they got fired for doing that. So do not do that. Um, just always set it as active. Um, if, if there's a bypass, if your manager approves and you do it, but if it's not approved, don't do it. You're going to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. I don't want you to lose your job because of something dumb like that. Okay. So sometimes we don't listen. Like sometimes I don't listen. Sometimes people don't listen. So you, you want, you have to pay attention sometimes and pay attention to what you do and pay attention to the small little details It's very important. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's all I wanted to share with you. Um, I wish you create groups and do a bunch of other things. And I was able to log into this. I'm like, oh, I'm able to log in. This still works. So. I hope this I hope this video helps you out. Um, my camera's a little blurry for some reason. I don't know why it's blurry. Come on, camera. Um, it's weird. Shouldn't be that blurry. I don't know why it's so it's so blurry for some reason. Uh, camera is blurred out for some reason. It's acting funny today. Um, so I hope this video helps you out. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. I'm waiting for this thing to open. Give me a second. Obviously it's going to fix itself as I'm opening it. There's the app that, that, that controls the camera. Um, there we go. Hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns about two-factor authentication or dual, let me know but it's supposed to work once you have it enabled and all these companies do not allow you to, all these companies do not allow you to connect to these apps unless you have two-factor authentication enabled. I see that in every work environment. If you don't believe me, if you don't, if you don't believe me, I'll show you something. Let me show you something real quick. You probably don't, you probably, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about or he, he, he doesn't know what he, you know, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to go, we're going to go to indie.com and we're just going to, for the sake of this video, we're just going to type dual. And I'm going to go into any of these jobs. Let's see if dual shows up for any of these jobs. I'm going to hit control find D U O Dual's right there. See, go to another, go to another job. Um, dual mobile. Two factor. Let me see if I can find anything. You, you need to know dual. Dual is one of those things you, you just need to know. I don't know. It's just one of those job requirements. So um, obviously it's not gonna it's not gonna show up any other stuff here. There's more than that. Obviously, you know, PC technician, um, VPN, probably need dual for this as well, you know. So I do control find, D U O. It's right there, you know, so it's something you need to know. So if I go over something, if I go over something, it's for a reason. It's not because I feel like it, you know, it's something that you need to know in your job. So at least it's going to be dual, it's going to be RSA, or it's going to be Google Authenticator. It's going to be one or the other. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, take care, and hope this video helps you out. Hope you guys have a great week. All right, take care. Peace. Later.